This is Square Nail. It's a beaut of a place, and it's located in the rolling foothills of the western Sierra Nevadas near a commonly known area called Toll House Rock. This is the story on how I achieved redemption against Easy Rider. Easy Rider is a 5.8 single pitch sport climber route that perfectly embodies the essence of slab climbing. It feels bare. When spotting the route to see where to climb, it's hard to find anywhere to trust your weight on. The whole route requires you to trust that the friction between your dusty, prone to slipping shoes and the rock will hold you. During my first attempt, I got to the hardest part of the route and just couldn't shake off the general fear and exposure Easy Rider lends itself to. Cause there's like nothing right here. This route was more of a mental game than anything for me. According to a post on Mountain Project by a one Colin Baker, Colin states, a single high step and some faith in the friction will take care of it. Well Colin, it was scary. I didn't have any faith in the friction. Yeah, go and lower me. After bailing, I had a long hike back to the car to contemplate. I think the most humbling part is that Easy Rider isn't physically that hard. I'd say that it's graded appropriately if you're grading purely on the physical nature of the route and the maneuvers alone, which is kind of what grade is, but the mental game of this route made it way harder than I had anticipated. Because I didn't make it to the anchor, I did it to piece of gear. Now everyone's gonna know where I got to. Yeah. This is a quick drop. Sport climbing requires these bad boys to serve as your protection. All you do is clip one end into a pre-bolted hanger, and the other you clip your rope into. This, along with your belayer, provides protection against falls. See, the scary part comes into play when you're above your last piece of protection. It's a bit run out. Because if you fall here, you pendulum swing twice the length of the rope from the quick draw. At the top of every bolted route should be a set of two bolt hangers, commonly referred to as the anchor. More often than not, these are accompanied with bolts, that have chains that you can lower off so you don't have to leave any gear behind. One key piece of information here is that you need to actually make it to the top in order to utilize said anchor. So the original plan was to go out and climb the route the following weekend and hope some weekday warrior didn't beat me to cleaning my piece of gear. Immediately after my failed attempt, California made sure to put a stop to any plan in mind. This atmospheric river slamming the west. That new is storm that's taking aim at California. Another round of storms batters down on Monterey County. I don't know if you're aware of one crucial piece of information, but water and friction climbing, or, or most climbing for that part, don't particularly mix well. Eventually, the weather cleared up and the approach to the route was way overgrown. I had to climb under a ton of stuff and even snap my belt buckle on my pack. Just broke my backpack. No matter what, we trekked onward, hopping huge crevasses, bushwhacking, scampering our way to retrieve our lost piece of gear. Oh, your quick draw isn't here anymore. It was a bummer. But we had already made it the trek out to Square Nail, back to Easy Rider. So it was time to rack up and climb up. This time, I was prepared though. The weekend before this one, where RP was able to squeeze me into her schedule, I went climbing with a buddy of mine closer to home at a crack called Revis Mountain. This is what we're climbing. I gotta hike up the top because we're just top roping today. It's not lost on me that this delay in urgency is probably what led me to lose a quick draw. However, Rivas Mountain was an excellent prep work because the slab was the same grade and not as vertical when compared to Easy Rider. Not to mention I top roped it and I don't know, just climbing out here helped with my confidence a ton. Okay, so here we are, climbing something that has been on the back of my mind for a while. When I got back on that granite, I learned something. It was still pretty damn scary. Uh, there were some cuss words to be had, but this time I pushed through the fear and made it to the anchors. Of course, only to learn that one of the hangers that I had to lower off of was a little loose. So in all, just a terrifying experience. Like most things in life, I kind of romanticized the idea of getting to the top of the route. When I got lowered off to the anchors, I also got lowered back to reality. I noticed that it felt like just another day of climbing. Because at that moment, I kind of realized that I enjoyed the process of going out and experiencing the outdoors more than actually climbing easy ride again terrifying experience. We're going up there. I love the car drive up and getting to spend time with Arpy, hiking, wandering, seeing lizards and butterflies, seeing a waterfall on my drone, and just seeing the outdoors in general. We saw this other guy rope soloing. This is just a good day out. Easy Rider has taught me a lot, but climbing and going outdoors has taught me more. I guess what I'm trying to say is go out and explore. Challenge yourself and try to break through those barriers because you're capable of a lot and you're capable of great things. Until next time, peace. Careful, babe. Arpy, you okay? <laughs>